Numerous IT certifications are available, and the managing JIRA cloud projects offered by Atlassian is one of them. Passing the ACP 620 exam is the requirement for earning this certification, and the most efficient way to pass the ACP 620 exam is to prepare well with a valid practice exam online. The Great ACP 620 Practice Test of Questions 2 provides a comprehensive solution for passing the Managing JIRA Cloud Projects exam, complete with a 100% success guarantee. By preparing with our practice exam questions and answers, you can approach the ACP 620 exam with confidence, knowing that you stand an excellent chance of passing on your first attempt. The Atlassian Managing JIRA Cloud Projects is an outstanding credential that can enhance your professional standing. It serves as proof of a project admin's proficiency in managing and refining Scrum and Kanban projects via JIRA software for their teams. However, it's important to note that this certification is only applicable to those utilizing JIRA in a cloud environment. If you're already working in the field of managing JIRA cloud projects, earning the Atlassian Managing JIRA Cloud Project Certification can enhance your existing skills and knowledge, making you a more valuable asset to your organization. But passing ACP 620 exam is not easy. You should have the right study materials for learning. The Great ACP 620 Practice Test of Questions Tube is based on the exam topics to help you achieve success. By preparing for the ACP 620 exam with Great ACP 620 exam questions and answers, you can increase your chances of passing the exam on your first try and reaping the benefits that the Managing JIRA Cloud Project Certification has to offer. Practicing the ACP 620 exam questions and answers of questions tube is great for passing. With all the assist of Atlassian ACP 620 exam questions you realize your goal and clear the exam on your very first try. Before downloading the great ACP 620 practice test, you can read the ACP 620 free exam questions first. 1. Which of the following are suitable use cases to use issue level security? Choose 2. A. Only managers can view certain projects. B. Only managers can view and edit high priority issues. C. Only managers can view the development panel. D. Only managers can view issues created by the manager level. E. Only managers can move issues to other projects. Answer. B. D. 2. Nash can view all issues but he is unable to rank the backlog in the JIRA software board. Which permissions does Nash need to request to get the proper access? Choose 2. A. Edit issues. B. View development tools. C. Manage sprints. D. Schedule issues. E. Browse projects. F. Move issues. Answer. A. C. 3. Which of the following are true about Epic? Choose 2. A. An Epic can have another Epic. Epic link. B. An Epic cannot have its own issue screen. C. An Epic cannot convert to a sub-task. D. Users need to enable Kanban backlog to use Epic in the Kanban board. E. Users can customize Epic's color in both Kanban and Scrum projects. F. An Epic can have issues that belong to more than one project. Answer. C. F. 4. An existing JIRA project will be handed over to a new team. Users want to change the project details for an upcoming new project. 
Which project details can users change from the details page? Choose for A. Key B. Title C. Avatar D. Project Lead E. Name F. Project Type Answer. B. C. D. E. 5. A group of developers are working on multiple JIRA projects. They can view all JIRA projects and have the move issues permission in all JIRA projects. However, they cannot move issues to some of the JIRA projects. What is the possible root cause of this problem? A. They do not have the view issue permission in some projects. B. They do not have the transition issue permission in some projects. C. They do not have the edit issue permission in some projects. D. They do not have the create issue permission in some projects. Answer. D. 6. In the current sprint, users have 10 issues but their team is only able to complete 5 issues. What will happen to the other 5 issues if they wish to complete the current sprint? Choose 2. A. Unresolved issues will be removed. B. Users can move them to the next sprint. C. Users can move them to the other active sprints. D. Unresolved issues will be archived. E. Users can move them to their backlog. Answer. B. E. 7. Which of the following is false about creating boards? A. Users can create a new board from existing JIRA projects. B. Users can create a new board from the existing saved filter. C. Users cannot create a board with multiple projects, but they can add more projects once they create the board. D. Users can create a new board while creating a new JIRA software project. Answer. C. 8. Which of the following are true about ranking parent issues and subtasks? Choose 2. A. Subtasks will follow the parent issues ranking. B. Subtasks will have a different rank than the parent issues. C. Users need to rank all of the subtasks before ranking the parent issue. D. Subtasks can be ranked in relation to their sibling issues. Answer. B. D. 9. Which of the following are part of the JIRA automation rules? Choose 3. A. Listeners B. Conditions C. Triggers D. Actions E. Requirements F. Steps Answer. B. C. D. 10. Which of the following indicates that the productivity of the team is increasing in control chart report? Choose 2. A. Rolling average line showing a downtrend. B. More issues or a group of issues are below the average line. C. Rolling average line showing an uptrend. D. Rolling average line is consistently close to the average line. E. More issues or a group of issues are above the average line. Answer. A. B.